Hi, I'm Tom, and today I'm in my bathroom, and I'm looking at that thing. It's horrific, and today I'm going to try to update it. So what I'm going to do is actually replace this one with another one, but the countertop I'm going to make myself in concrete. Never done it before, so this is going to be interesting. So let's go shopping for equipment. I did get them to pre-cut everything, so it was just to assemble it for me. So after I lined up uh, everything, I pre-drilled uh, the hole for the screws before I screwed it all together. I added silicone to every corner inside. Uh, the reason for that is so that the corner will be a little bit more smooth. Then I measure out the steel frame that I'm gonna use inside the concrete. Then I measure out where to put the sink and the faucet. And remember, the mold is upside down, so remember to place the sink and the water faucet on the right side. Then I did glue the cutouts for the holes to the mold. Okay, so it's starting to rain, which is good for the concrete, but <laughs> it's not for me. So. I move my stuff under the parasol. So this concrete is in a region called, uh, the translated is called dry concrete. It's co also called uh, Portland concrete. I think that's an international standard. Uh, also, you can see that it's uh, Mortal Class B40. I did choose the B40 because it was recommended for uh, for this kind of job. Especially because uh, the mold that I'm uh, I'm using uh, it's only going to be three centimeter. I mixed in the concrete a little bit looser than I normally would use, and the reason why is that when I'm going to pour it over into the mold, uh, it's a little bit easier to work with. But you have to be careful not to have too much water in the concrete. Now it's time to fill up the mall with concrete. I only fill it half full. There's two reasons for that. Uh, one is that they're going to have the steel inside. The other reason is that it's easier to get the air out of the concrete. I use a plastic hammer for this and I also shake the table to make sure that all the bubbles and all the air get out of the concrete. Then I lay down the steel frame and I filled up the rest of the form with concrete. I used a long wood plank to level the concrete. So now it's time for more hammering and shaking. The more air you get out of the concrete, the better the result will be. So take your time. So I'm actually not going to cover this one with plastic and the reason why is that the temperature outside is actually just about around 9, 8, 9 degrees so it's not very hot in, uh, outside and uh, also it's a little bit rain in the air so that uh, it will keep the concrete uh, nice and wet and there was actually one thing that I did forget uh, 
before I pour the concrete. Normally when you make this, uh, <laughs> it could be really smart to have uh, uh, oil or uh, something uh, that you first wipe the mall with so the concrete gets loose a little bit easier uh, when it's dry so that's gonna probably be a little bit of problem for me so it's been about five days I think it's ready so let's go ahead and take it out of the mall Now all the screws are up, it's time to take the mold apart. Be careful when you're using tools so you don't damage the concrete. Well, so far so good. and. Uh, it actually looks really nice. So let's hope the next step also go as easy as this one. So remember I told you that I forgot to uh, oil the mull. So I was pretty sure it was gonna give me a really tough time to get it loose and I was actually really skeptic on the, on the result. But uh, as you saw that it really came loose really quickly. And here you can see the result. It actually looks pretty good. I took the concrete top inside and I sanded it with 400 paper. After sanding it down, I gave the top three coats of sealer. And then I did let it dry overnight. Then I mounted the faucet and the sink. I'm actually really happy with the result and I think it turn, turned out really great. And now it's ready for me to install it. One day builds always take longer than one day. Yeah, it does. So this project started out uh, with me wanting to replace the old sink with uh, a new one and a countertop that I made uh, myself of concrete uh, so the countertop uh, and the sink and everything you see here was actually pretty easy to make as I did show you in the video but it did take longer than I did expect and the reason is that I got a wife and uh, after I made this ready to put in she said well while you're here you should uh, you should paint the wall so I took down everything and painted the wall and then she said well the old mirror doesn't really fit with a new sink so we bought a new mirror also so we actually almost redecorated the whole bathroom so even if it took a little bit longer than I did expect uh, I'm really happy with the result and the bathroom actually turned out really great